Welcome back to the Possibility Store. I'm your host, Lane, and this week I have a game for you that was streamed a few weeks back, featuring members of my Discord. I'm joined this time by Taco, Steve, and Majestic, who is a first-timer on the show. Welcome, and good luck. Possibility Storm is brought to you by the following sponsors. Ordering any of the cards you see in this video by using our TCG Player affiliate link provides support for the channel. You'll get their fantastic prices and help us out at the same time. Alternatively, if you're looking for sweet new artwork for your favorite cards, using our Alter Sleeves affiliate link will get you 5% off of your order, along with earning a commission for the channel. Playmats are now available through our partnership with Inked Gaming. You can grab your own The Possibility Storm or do you pay the one logo playmats via our store page. Play in style on all of your streams. If you'd like to support more directly, you can head over to our Patreon to pledge. We have a variety of tiers and benefits, and your dollars go directly into the show to help and improve. Want to see us play live? We stream over on Twitch every Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time. We usually play three or four games during each stream block, but only one of those games make it to the channel, so come hang out with us and chat while we sling some cardboard. Links to all of the above will be in the description below. With that said, let's check out the lists. First up is Taco on a brand new commander coming out of Commander Legends 2, Mahadi Emporium Master. This guy has a pretty neat clause that creates treasures upon creatures' death, so he can potentially bank mana and have some explosive turns. Packed in combos are Cloudstone Curio loops with Dockside for infinite mana, Bullets the Citadel to outright win the game, and cards like Mayhem Devil will also allow him to kill the table with enough treasures to sacrifice. This looks like a spicy Rakdos deck indeed. Next up is Majestic on his version of Tevesh Krom. A powerful Grixis duo, these grinded engines enable the pilot to dig through the deck to find combos, of which there are plenty. The main lines to victory revolve around Thoracle with Consultation, Underworld Breach with Brain Freeze, and of course it's always fun to resolve a beefy Adnos. Coming third is Steve on his Jessica Ishai list. This deck uses the Big Bird mainly as a distraction, although if it gets count enough counters on it, it is a lethal swing with Jessica Zero. However, most of the time he's aiming for a way to get infinite mana, be that with either Ariok Salvagers or the Dramatic Scepter combo, and then infinitely casting Jessica and using her minus to kill the table. I'm coming last this time on my Evelyn list. This is a World Gorger Dragon deck first and foremost, so we're aiming to get the dragon in the bin and then animate dead in our hand to start the loop, casting Evelyn during the loop and exiling our opponent's libraries, just to pass and win. We can do this with Dockside and Baron as well, and a well-timed Mayhem Devil can also be used to kill the table. Otherwise, we have Consultation and Breach Lines that will get it done just the same. So there you have it. Let's see who gets it done this time. We'll draw. Play a Bad Lance. Play this here, Mana Crypts. Play this here, Lotus Petal. Three for this Wheel of Fortune. Whatever talks. Power Blast, Dockside, Spring Leaf Drum, and Tarnish Citadel. Eric Mesa, Uncle Tudor, Island. I'm Twister, Simeon, Soul Ring. You can't tell me we're trying to do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Chromox, Final Fortune, Windswept Heath, Soul Ring, Muddle, Dragon Rage Channeler, and Volcanica. Uh, three lands, a Wishclaw, a Gamble, a Ledger Shredder, and a Demonic Tutor. All pass turn. Straw for turn. Play Command Tower and Sega. Roll. Island. Sega. Alright, draw. Verdant Catacombs, Chrome Mox. Uh, we're gonna pitch Florian because I'd like to have two colors, please and thank you. Uh, crack Verdant. Get an Underground C, and I will just pass from there. Roll for Mana Crypt, even safe. Is a four, awesome. Draw. Play an Exotic Orchard for a Demonic Tutor. Put that in my hand. We'll sack this. I'd like to cast a. Actually, let's just go for the commander, and then I will pass. Uh, draw for turn. Play an um, underground steak. Cast a lion's eye diamond. Say go. Draw for turn. I'll cast my own lion's eye diamond, and then pass. Draw. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. I got six in hand. Roll for crypts. It is a draw. Play a mana confluence for a wish claw talisman. Use the other one for a skull clamp. I would like to pay two life and mental mist at that. Well, yeah, that happens. That's... Tap the wish claw. Uh, I'll give it to Give you a rock. Yeah. I'll grab this. And then I will pass the turn. Untap. No up triggers. Draw for turn. Play a Misty Rainforest. Crack it. Hey, life. 
Um, go and grab a watery grave, so I'll pay two more right there. Attempt to cast a necro. <laughs> I'll force negation that. Pitching my own misstep. Uh, <clears throat> then I will pass turn. Draw. Yep, I'm gonna have to do what I promised. You Three. want to give it back to me? <laughs> Cut. Hell no, give it to me. His lane. Here's a mana crypt that I totally didn't just tutor. We'll play an is it signet and pass zip turner. Uh, on your end step, I would like to cast this vampiric tutor. Oh no. Oh no. Well, Steve. That didn't go the way I, wanted, so. <laughs> I mean, I'm still in the same boat where I need mana to do anything, so. Yeah, but you have two tutors now instead. You need a lot less mana to do what you need to do. Oracle is only three mana. Well, Steve, I did say never give the tutor to the person next in turn order. Uh, so that card will go on top. I'll lose two life. I'll on top. And draw. Play this mana crypt I totally didn't tutor for. I'll activate a floating one. I'll give it back to Taka. You're welcome. I'll just pass her. Uh, two. Wow. This, may, this is one of the only games I've won all my mana crypt rolls. Play this Verdant Catacombs. I'll sacrifice it. Go get a blood crypt. Lose two life. Cast this Underworld Breach. Breach? Breach. Yeah, this one's Big boy breach. There you go. Good man. And now we can do it. Now that you can do. Oh, damn it. You got rid of... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I forgot you had that because, uh, you know, thinking it was gone. We will start with one and a red. Exile a Verdant Catacombs, a Tarnished Citadel, and a Springleaf Drum for Dockside. You get three for me. Three, four, five, six, it looks like. We'll use two and Exile, Lotus Petal, Pyroblast, and Skull Clamp for this Demonic Tutor. Grinding Station, use two. Cast a Grinding Station. Sack the Mana Crypt, I'll target myself. One, two, three. And then now I can safely do it without having to play Wheel of Fortune, so that's nice. And then on top of that, I will go one, two, three, play a Mayhem Devil. There you go. And that should yeah. solidify. Yep, that will do it. I love seeing a brand new commander do its thing. Mayhem Devil is such a powerful card that it so, has so many ways it can affect games, let alone win them outright. Congrats to Taco on its win. GG's to all. As always, a special shout out to my patrons for your ongoing support. Couldn't do this without you. Thanks to all for watching, and we'll see you next week.